Welcome back to Let's Play Lionheart. We've just finished the starter dungeon and now it is time to continue exploring the first little section of Barcelona. And I found a hidden treasure by this guy's cart. 11 gold. Woo. Alright, first up we're going to go into this random building here. and see what there is to see. Looks like there is a dead guy on the floor. And puncture wounds all over him. So that's not a very good omen as far as what's going on. Let's see if we can't go ahead and steal the rest of his stuff while we're at it. And head on out and see what the deal is with this guy. Maybe his little wife here might know what's going on. Oh, she says nothing and then runs away. Uh, thanks for that. Alright. Anyways, it's very similar to the corpse we found outside that contained... Um, that was the work of the Davis, according to the Knights of Saladin who were out there. Let's go ahead and head into this area. And end up talking to this random citizen who seems to be a little confused. Let's uh, see what we can't do about him. Hand over your potatoes and no one gets hurt. Uh, okay. Potatoes. And everyone's looking for potatoes. Why would I have potatoes? You're here, you have potatoes. Simple. Okay. I'll get you some potatoes. Just give me two gold and I'll go rent a cart and bring the potatoes here. Okay, well, we just took two gold away from him. Got a little bit of experience. And let's rob the rest of his hut while we're at it. Push and peeling. I guess that's it. Well, thanks for letting me in here, guy. Good luck with your potato fetish. And we continue on. Let's see. Another random building we can walk into. Let's see what we got. Bookshelf. All these people would bury treasure and bookshelves full of potions and everything. It's kind of nice. And we failed three times, so I'm going to have to level up my lock picking before I can take that. Carrying on. What else we got? All right. Let's see what's in door number three. Wing Choi. And another discerning customer enters Choi's choice goods. Ah, uh, but this one is different. A strong spirit guides your way, no? Hi, Wing Choi. The Chinese monk guy. How do you know what's going on? The people of my homeland embrace spirit-born magic. Unlike the people of the West, many Chinese coexist and gain power from spirits. Where I come from, people are not persecuted for using magic, and spirits are not powers to be feared. What do you got for sale? I specialize in rare and exotic items, trinkets, and oddities that I have collected during my travels. Some of these items are mundane, some are quite special. I also have a collection of rare scrolls and tomes that you might be interested in. Well, tell me about your book collection. Ah, it is the finest collection of books in the West, and possibly the East. I collect original manuscripts, plays, holy books, scrolls, tablets, any precious material with an imprint of history and culture. It is my life's passion to collect such things, and I am willing to pay handsomely for rare books. All right, one little mini quest here. If we find I any books, we gotta bring them to him. Spirit bearer. Well, let's see what he's got for sale right now. Countless of archery; those are kind of nice, but they have ten times. They cost ten times as much money as we've got right now, so not exactly going to be buying that. Protection, built cold resistance, okay, just a whole bunch of random crap that we don't need. 
but it is good to know that he's got this kind of stuff available and we will be returning here later on once we find some rare books for him and there's a little uh, leaf over this door which means it's probably the herb shop which is what I was aiming for and she's talking about a tonic so yeah definitely looks like the herb shop to me let's talk to Quinn and see what we've got going on alright Leo told me to talk to you about a certain faction within the city and Quinn has revealed that Leo is actually Leonardo da Vinci who hopefully you know who that guy is kind of famous and definitely not the first famous person we're going to meet in this game but the rest of them will be coming up shortly so I'm not going to spoil anything just yet but carrying on Quinn is our contact as far as getting in touch with the wielders which is one of the factions we can join um, that's the faction that can use magic so we're going to go with them and who do you know that's associated with the wielders alright I'm going to have to prove that I can use magic before we continue talking to Quinn so he doesn't think we're a spy or anything all we have to do is click this book here little magical effect and he tells us where we're going he gave us the wielder's charm which is right here gives you five extra mana which obviously nothing special but it does let you see through the secret wall which is by the little mini dungeon where we just left so I'm gonna go ahead and head over that way and reveal it but we're not going to start the little quests just yet as it's kinda complicated and long and I've got to level up a bit before I start working for them so let's go all the way back over here and now see I don't even have to put the amulet on but I can click the wall and it turned itself invisible and allows us to walk through it it also contains some mana here if I ever need some there's some available and then this is the entrance to the wielders hut themselves we'll get back to there in just a little bit I need to continue exploring Barcelona first and what we're gonna do since we've pretty much completed the intro area we can continue on and head on down this way and see if we can't open up a new more scum walking by okay you asked for it buddy alright have you seen Ali Huvan which is who the Knights of Saladin were asking me for whatever go away Right. Do, 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 do. I'm stuck here guarding the port district and he used to be a guard for Galileo so I guess that is the second famous person we got two in one video um, Galileo is most famous for his uh, research on planetary rotation and that kind of stuff pretty important uh, let's see Galileo all right. Anyways, Galileo has run foul of the Inquisition and is therefore not really going to be able to help us out anymore. But he is going to factor in quite a bit later. Games like this wouldn't just mention him and then never bring him up again. So we will be meeting Galileo and see if we can't help him out with his little Inquisition problem. But we have moved on and are now in the Docks District there are three main districts then this is the second and there'll be a lot more stuff we can do places to level up random door that apparently I can't walk through for some reason and let's head on down this way okay and apparently we just ran into Benito the thug alright I'm not paying for you 
And I'm sure you want to rob from the city guard. Let's go ahead and lie to him, see if that works. Oop. And then he runs away. So I got some experience for that. Uh, I think if I killed him and his little friends, we would get more. But I don't remember. So we're going to just keep on keeping on. And apparently I have picked a lock into here and have immediately run into a guard dog. And what else we got in here? Oh, we're almost out of time. Looks like I've got some stuff we can loot. Hey, more secret stuff on the floor. Alright, anyways, we're out of time. I'm going to continue looting and exploring the docks district next time. Hope to see you there.